And mine too. <laughs> um, now, I'm, I'm a, a, a staff nurse at Wellington Hospital, have been for the last 11 years, and so I know the realities of care in, in the DHB. And based on that knowledge, I can boil down five main issues, not one, I'm afraid, but five, which I think are, need to be prioritised. Firstly, and just like my colleague uh, David Choate, no cuts, no privatisation. Yeah, we've heard yeah. today, the majority of the current board members, and we've heard it again today, are driven by the mantra of living within your means. But remember, that according to the Council of Trade Unions economists, the DHB sector was underfunded yeah. this year to the tune of $111 million. Mm -hmm. That's $111 million less that they receive than the cost of services the government requires them to provide. Mm -hmm. So living within the means is not a recipe for success. No, no cuts. No privatisation. It's not that long ago that this DHB sought to privatise district nursing. Yeah. Now, we've already got privatised, contracted out um, hospital services like food and laundry, or yeah. soon to be laundry. We can, we can reverse that yeah. and have no more privatisation. Yeah. This yeah. government yeah. wants it, so we yeah. need to hand that on to the to stand up to the health minister. Yeah. I say, no, I say local democracy, not remote bureaucracy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a, a subterranean move to merge these three DHBs, and it's being done in secret. Yeah. Let's have the debate out in the open, and we'll find out what other agendas are at work in merging the DHBs? It's not just efficiencies. You hear in the news it's about efficiencies, it's not just about that. There's restructuring going on, jobs being cut through this process as well. Let's have it out in the open. We need an ambulance at the top of the cliff approach to healthcare. We need access to primary health. You know, one in three Wellington residents has had difficulty accessing primary health in the last year. Thanks to David Tone for publicising mm. this on his blog. Mm. We need to address the social determinants of health. You know, mm. we need to beef up public health services, regional public health, and it tackled poor housing, one in ten admissions yeah. due to poor housing. Mm -hmm. And finally, we need to put the care back into aged care. Yes. Shout out to my aged care. <laughs>